Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. Today is the aforementioned two star episode. Now, don't get me wrong, two stars it does feel a little bit like I'm shortchanging you guys, which I don't want to do. However, I feel like given the nature of what I think these two stars are, the length of the episode probably isn't going to be as short as I'm assuming it's going to be. So we'll find out. We're gonna begin with the Dreadnought Speedy Comet. Hopefully this one isn't too bad, but we'll see. I'm gonna do my best to do my most average. So we got the Topman Tribe speed run. For some reason, this game is very obsessed with the Topmans. I have no idea. Maybe they got some dirt on Nintendo, on Mario. But I don't ever remember this one really being too difficult. And they give you six minutes, so... Six minutes is a pretty substantial amount of time to uh, engage the Topmans. So we're gonna want to bring this green Topman. I'm gonna, like, if you ever have that problem where you say one word so many times that it starts to kind of lose meaning, that's kind of where I'm at. I would like this green Topman to continue to follow me. This is supposed to be a speed run. I'm doing a uh, very lackadaisical job at it because this red one's getting all up in my business. Come on. Hello, sir. Hello. Oh, got some Beyblade action going on over here. Does anybody remember Beyblades? Anybody remember those? There we go. This should work. Cool. That only took longer than it should have. So, yeah, Beyblades were cool. I saw a video recently of people doing makeshift Beyblades where they took some gears and some saw parts and they kind of did their own very unsafe version of Beyblades. That was pretty neat. That's kind of the shenanigans I might have gotten into as a child. So the game gives you six minutes, and that might seem egregious, but then again, I know, based on my luck, that I'll probably either just make it or just not make it. So stay tuned for that. There's no spoilers right now because I don't know exactly how good I'm going to do or not. The likelihood of doing well is, for some reason, lost on me, so we'll see. Oh. The one thing that's kind of a but is that you have to lure the green one. The green one's the one that you need to do all your shenanigans. But then you got this stupid red one that's trying to get up on your business. He's like, notice me. Notice me, senpai. When in reality, I don't want to notice him. I'm actually ignoring them because they're being obtrusive and immature. So another encounter with some full stars. We love those, as you guys all know. So we're doing okay. We still got four-ish minutes. If you guys remember, this is the part with the uh, explodey balls that are coming in hot. We have to be careful and time our pull star pulls just right so we don't get brought into their explosive demise. That sentence didn't really make sense. That's okay. So far, so good. Actually, I actually had something else that I wanted to say in the midst of that statement, but I forgot what it was mid-thought, so I'm just going to go with the encouragement. That always works for me. Okay. So now we have the weird laser beam gauntlet. This is fun, right? I don't know if any of you have played Super Mario 3D World, but there is a final stage of Super Mario 3D World, which is supposed to be kind of like the ultimate challenge. And this kind of reminds me of that. This also looks a little bit like a Venn diagram, like the Venn diagram of me and uh, being good at video games are two separate circles. And that's exactly why I don't know how much of this is left. I think I still have to probably do the final fight. Which is here. I got about two and a half to go. I think this should be enough time. <laughs> well, I would have liked that to have been enough time. Okay. I guess we'll take the scenic route. We'll see how valuable that life stream is to uh, my success. Oh, that's not good. Also, this red tint on the screen is kind of making my eyeballs go a little weird. I say that when the main color of my channel is red. Hopefully, those of you with potential color blindness aren't affected by that. 
I just chose it because it's my favorite color. Because I'm just a fiery kind of guy. That's not true at all. Pretty pretty chill. That's kind of the theme of this channel anyway. Anyway, so a, a, a revision on the Topman fight. We have to take out the... Uh, the infants, the Topman infants here. Oh, that's not cool. Take out the Topman infants. You can smash them into the electric Spinaroonie. And then the big Topman is dispatched in the same way. You just gotta shoot them into it. I feel like this would be a more fun kind of challenge if they based it around the Daredevil Comet. I don't know if that was already a thing. It might be, and I'm just misremembering. But I feel like that'd be kind of cool. This would be really tough, actually. Oh my goodness, come on. No, no! <laughs> Ugh. I don't think I've ever actually seen that animation before, to be completely honest. That makes it sound like I'm good at this fight. I'm not. I just haven't been that bad in the past, I suppose. So that was very interesting. There it is. That's Star City, everybody. That's one of two. 50% of today's content already out of the way. I actually don't even remember what star 117 is so we'll find out as a reminder 118 through 120 will all be the green stars just to wrap up the project with a nice bow i thought that'd be a fun way to end it i was gonna do like the final boss and stuff but then i realized how much i dislike doing that so i have a different ending in mind let's see what's left i forget it's gotta be something here yep it is the Melty Molten whatever. I think that that's... That might be the Daredevil Comet of that star. Or the Purple Coins one. I don't remember. Either way, this is going to suck a little bit. But hey, it's a decently long star. So that should give us an ample amount of content. Hopefully you guys are enjoying my last trip through... Oop. That was a, a risky maneuver. You're enjoying my last trip through uh, the talk to the Comet Luma as we stuff his fat face. He's tweaking over here. So let's give him one last fix. Let's move it. So I do believe that this is the Melty Molten Purple Coin star, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out. I actually don't remember needing to do this. Like when I played through this game casually the last time around. Yeah, it is the Purple Coin one. Great. Nothing like ending the normal star missions in this game with a purple coin one as like a uh, a bittersweet farewell, right? Is that is that it? So um, yeah, I don't remember having to do this when it comes to visiting that Luma. Like I remember I did it once or twice when the game was getting a little lacking of progress, but like I've had to do this a lot. Like I've done this like at least a dozen times. And I don't know if it's just because I turned the game on and off in between recording sessions or what, but very strange. This should pad out the episode a little bit. Purple coin missions are super fun, so I thought it'd be a great way to send off this Let's Play. At least the regular stars with some purple coins. What an awesome opportunity this is going to be for all of us. Hopefully you enjoy yourselves, because I know I won't. All right, so purple coins. For those of you who are new to purple coins, they're coins that are purple. We've got to collect 100. And I believe that there are exactly 100 in this level. Thankfully, the game is chill enough to give us a life shroom right at the beginning, which is very cool. Super cool and fun. And I like the fact that, at least in this one, because of having that life shroom, me dying is a little bit less likely. Emphasis on a little. Because if you remember, I've done some stars in the past where I have gotten the majority of the coins. And then I have died in the process. Okay, my depth of perception apparently is horrible today. I've died in the process. And if you die in the process of collecting the purple coins, it does not matter how far along into the collection process you have. You gotta start over. And that is fun for nobody, especially me. As much as I have a very calm demeanor and outlook on life, that, uh... I don't remember exactly. I want to say Honey Hive. Having to redo those uh, coins. Oops. 
was very uh, tantamount to making me have an internal rage I've never felt before. So if I could grab this coin, that'd be awesome. This this mission's also a bit of a butt, not because of the lava. The lava's fine. It's, you know, it's a little challenging, but I think the issue that I have is that with some of these stars, it's the depth perception. I've been having depth perception issues in general. That might just be because my, I'm old and my eyesight is failing, but if it's not that, I feel like some of these coins are a little tough to properly identify exactly where they are. So bear with me as I figure that out, and I try not to burn my buns, or Mario's buns, I guess, they're not my buns. It's a little tricky because you have to navigate these platforms. You have like a half of a second to grab all of these coins that are prominently displayed under the grating. I don't know why they thought that this was a fun mechanic. I don't think it's a fun mechanic, but then again, I didn't make this game, so boo on me, I suppose. You pop over here, you can get kind of a good look onto what's left. That was not intended, but that turned out to be cooler than I thought, so some pro gameplay, you're welcome. It looks like we've got a little bit. There's one coin down there that we'll have to use the grate again for, because I forgot to get it. So we'll grab this one up here. It makes you wonder exactly like how how feeble are these platforms that Mario is able to use whatever his Oh, that's not fun. Whatever his body weight is to weigh those down. Is Mario a chubber? Like, is he Mario a big old chunk? Or kind of what's the sitch with that? Are these platforms made out of, like, chicken wire or something? Something very basic? What's the craftsmanship of the Melty Molten Galaxy is what I'm trying to figure out, guys. Come on. It's important. If we're going to be playing a AAA title, I want AAA construction. It's important. You can't be cutting corners, Nintendo. So far, so good. Second time I've said that today. I don't know if I always mean it, but hey, I can try to keep reminding myself of that and maybe if I say it enough times, it'll come true, like a fairy tale or a mythology or a 3000 year old book that we love to read. So you're gonna pop over here. You're not gonna take the star. You're gonna slide down, do a little belly, belly slide down the volcano and get yourself those coins. They decided to hide some here, like a little bit of a uh, hopscotch. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hang in there, Mario. Yeah, things are getting a little hairy now since I lost that uh, live stream. Oh boy. <laughs> Ooh. Nothing like a little tension to end the final regular star, right? Oh boy. I'm not feeling good about this at all. This is very scary. Scarier than, oh boy. Scarier than a haunted house on Halloween. I actually love Halloween. It's probably my favorite holiday. What's your guys' favorite holidays, huh? Some people don't consider Halloween a holiday. And I don't consider those people people. So what goes around comes around, if you know what I'm saying. All right, so we have to hop down here. Oh crap, Whew. very carefully. Oh boy, I don't like this at all. The depth of perception of these platforms is wigging me out. All right, so we're gonna pop over here and grab this last horde of coins, hopefully. We'll see how well I do. I think it's just this last circle, maybe. We're missing five of them, so I don't know quite where those are yet. But I'll figure it out, maybe. I would love not to have to do this again. I don't know if there's any coins over and back from the volcano, which that might be the case. And if that is, then we'll go grab them. Grab him. That's how you say it if you're from the Midwest. Midwest, best west. All right, so I think they might be in the volcano itself, or this star's just gonna pop me back over the top, that's fine, but. Or it's in here? Maybe the last five? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, oop. How close to this can I get without... T oh. That had, that had me very scared. Now I still have to actually get to the star. Which is on the top of the platform again. 
Oh boy, okay. Ooh, I was afraid I was gonna miss that. Is this coins? Oh, thank goodness. Little breathing room, little insurance coin. So we don't, so we don't eat it here. We're just gonna take this nice and slow, very cash, as this Let's Play has always been. You can hear the coin jingle jangling on top of the volcano. Actually, it's not on top of the volcano. It's over here, overlooking the volcano. That beautiful view. Here it is, everybody. Star 117, the last star for today, before we take on the green star gauntlet. There it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I think I disliked the Daredevil Comet of that star way more than that one. Of the purple coin missions, that one wasn't quite so bad. It did have a little bit of tension to it, but in general, it could have been worse. But we did it. Together. We're gonna save. I'm not gonna end it here though. Not quite. We're gonna go down. And we're going to uh, take a peek at the majesty of what we've accomplished throughout this Let's Play. Together. As one. For the Soviet Union. So all we've got left is some green stars, which we will accomplish next time as a final treat. Not today. So let's go ahead and take a look at the center observatory map just for fun and see how amazing we are. Would we like to see the map? Uh, yeah. So we've got these three new ones. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I wonder what those could be. But here it is, everybody. That is uh, almost 100% completion besides the green stars, but dome completion, 100%. So we got plenty of good dome during this Let's Play, which is awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves. I'll catch you guys next time for those green stars. I've been D-Mike. Have a good one. Bye.